it has been increasingly hard to look for clients as a virtual assistant right now. And that's because I believe that there is a lot of interest now in becoming a remote worker or a freelancer or a virtual assistant. A lot of people are interested to transition from being in the corporate industry to being a remote worker or a freelancer. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make things easier for you if you're someone who is currently looking for a client as a virtual assistant. I will show you where to apply, how to look for clients, and stay up until the end of this video because I will provide you with an insider tip on how to easily find clients as a virtual assistant, even if you are new in this industry. Hi everyone, my name is Mia and I'm an executive virtual assistant since 2021. Prior to being an executive virtual assistant, I was a wedding and events planner as well as a call center employee. I didn't have any experience as a freelancer or as a remote worker, let alone an executive virtual assistant, before I applied for the position. My first experience as an executive virtual assistant is with an agency, but now I'm currently working for a direct client. Before the pandemic, I've been hearing a lot of my friends who have applied. I believe Upwork was still called Odesk before. They were able to get clients um, from there. They were able to get gigs, freelancing gigs from the platform. I tried my luck before when I was still in college or I believe fresh out of college when I stopped studying because I'm still an undergraduate but never got the opportunity. I've tried so many times. My account was even banned from Upwork because I was sending a lot of application forms. I was during that time I was actually so jealous of my friends because they, they were earning a lot and they were just working from home. I did have my own equipment during that time but I couldn't find luck in getting a client. They weren't called virtual assistants before, they were called freelancers. So I didn't have any clue that virtual assistant existed prior to my knowledge when I was looking for a work from home job during the pandemic. So I really thought that being a virtual assistant or a freelancer was really reserved for the few lucky ones to be exact. During that time also, I believe when I was in college, purchasing a laptop or a computer was really very expensive. So having that the equipment that you need to become a virtual assistant or a freelancer was really for those who can afford to buy the equipment that's required for the job. And we weren't really well off that I can afford to purchase my own laptop. I think my, my parents gave me a laptop when I was, I think, 20 years old um, as a gift for my 20th birthday. So it wasn't something that, you know, I can go to the mall and just purchase. Like right now, we do have affordable laptops that we can easily purchase and ask for installment payments. Uh, our, our stores are offering um, installment payments for the equipment. So I didn't think that I will be a virtual assistant in my lifetime, but you know, pandemic happened and then a lot of companies had to transition and learn how to work with their employees virtually. And that actually opened up the industry to virtual assistants where employees from other countries such as the US, Europe, Australia are starting to outsource their team in countries like the Philippines, in Africa, and other countries in Asia. And that's actually, I believe, one of the good things that came out from the tragedy that was the pandemic. It opened up a lot of doors for people in the third world country like the Philippines to find good job opportunities as a virtual assistant. When I started in this industry as an executive virtual assistant in 2021, there weren't many opportunities for freelancing or virtual assistant work before. It was still the time of Upwork in 2021. It was when I started with that agency, I think I was about the f around 50, less than 60 employees during that time. So it was really like the... Um, start of the growth of the remote work industry in 2021 and I was lucky one of the lucky ones who was able to find work 
in this industry and in this agency. During that time also, there were a lot of other agencies, small agencies, a little bit bigger agencies that were hiring or were starting to hire remote workers or specifically virtual assistants. And I believe in 2021 as well, that was the rise of TikTok or social media because everyone was at home. Everyone was doing TikTok. And suddenly, when I went into TikTok to share my story as well, it wasn't really about me sharing how I became a virtual assistant. It was just me going on TikTok because I was really bored. I wanted to share my opinions, what I do on a daily basis. And one of the things or the first thing that I shared was that I was lucky enough to find work in the middle of a pandemic as a virtual assistant in a work from home setup and the pay was good. And then a lot of people started asking me where I applied, how I applied, what research I did to prepare myself to become a virtual assistant. And that's where I started sharing my experience while I was going through the process of learning how to be a VA, going through the process of training, going through the process of getting matched with a client and all of those things. And then as the years go by, 2022, 2023, 2024, the increase of clients wanting to hire virtual assistants were consistent. And they were looking at the Philippines to hire VAs because of our work ethic, our familiarity with the Western culture, as well as our talents in speaking English with a neutral accent. And because there were an increase of interest from clients overseas, there was also an increase of interest with Filipinos wanting to become virtual assistants because of the fact that it's so hot in the Philippines, traffic is so bad, pay isn't that high, and then now you have the opportunity to work from home, earn in dollars, and earn higher than what you are earning working for a corporation or a company. And with the rise of the interest for work from home or the virtual assistant position, VAs from the Philippines are now starting to compete with each other. And I think there are now more, more VAs compared to the clients that are looking for VAs. But rest assured, based on my experience, on my research, on how I look at the industry, it's just that there are a lot of clients that still don't know that they can benefit from hiring a VA. So it's up to us to really tell them that, hey, you should hire a virtual assistant. But that's for another video. Knowing that it's very hard to find a client right now, let's now talk about where you can find clients as a VA, whether you are a general VA, an executive virtual assistant, a creative VA, like a social media manager or a graphic designer, a video editor, you can find clients in different platforms. The first set of platforms that we're going to talk about where you can find clients as a virtual assistant is, of course, with VA agencies. When you join my free learning center via NAS, via EVA Academy, the link will be in the caption down below, you will see there a module that says virtual assistant agencies. And there you will find the list of all of the legit, real, true, um, good paying virtual assistant agencies that are available here in the Philippines. Let me mention a few of the VA agencies that I know of that's also included in the list that you can definitely apply to. We have, of course, Coconut VA, there's Persona, we also have Cyberbacker, Next Level Assist, and Magic. They are the top five on my list. You can see other virtual assistant agencies on that list. Just join my free learning center. I highly suggest that for beginners who don't have any experience as a virtual assistant, specifically, of course, those who also don't have any work experience at all, you might be an undergraduate or a fresh grad that's now looking for work, you can try applying in VA agencies. Why? Because VA agencies will match you with a client. It's very hard to look for clients right now, direct clients. So if you're someone who don't have experience, you don't have the network, you can start applying for a VA agency and they will be the one to match you with a client. 
why do I also recommend joining or applying a VA agency? Like I mentioned, clients now are very hard to find or direct clients are very hard to find. And VA agencies, the owners, the management of a VA agency would already have connections with their existing clients that would connect them with other clients that are interested to hire a VA. Based on research as well as experience, clients prefer now to hire via an agency. That's because of the rise of the VAs that are in the market right now who's looking for a client. So they would like the VA agency to do all of the background checks, to do the training, to do the initial screening of these VAs because they don't have the time to do that anymore. So they will outsource the hiring process as well. They also want to partner with VA agencies because they feel more secure that whatever happens, the VA agencies will provide support to them as the client. They also ensure that security and safety measures are taken whenever they provide their personal information with their VA. So they find the security with the VA agency. So it's advisable for beginners, even if you have experience, to apply with an agency. But just make sure that you do your due diligence read reviews about an agency so that you are partnered or you are applying with a really good agency. If you don't want to apply with an agency, you feel like you are ready to really be an entrepreneur, be your own boss, and you want to find a direct client, you want to probably also open your small agency and you want to find direct clients, then you can look at job platforms where you can find clients that are open to hire a VA. In that same module in my free learning center, you will find the different job platforms where you can apply with a direct client. To name a few of these job platforms, of course, we have Upwork, but it's kind of hard to apply using Upwork right now because you are sometimes forced to purchase connects to be able to submit an application, but you can try your luck. Again, they might you might reach the point where you would need to purchase connects but i highly suggest don't purchase one because we're looking for work because we need the finances so what's the point of applying if you need to pay for you to get considered so there are a lot of other job platforms out there you can try olj or online jobs ph but online jobs ph also has similar setup like upwork wherein you need connects to apply for job opening that's why the next job platform that might be an interest is job street this is an og job search platform i've been using this since i was in high school in college and they have redesigned their platform to have AI to be modern following with the times. So try it out. There's no connects you can apply to how many companies job openings that you can find there. So try using Job Street. You can also create a profile in Job Street and use that profile to apply. They also have a social media type of platform within Job Street wherein you can watch videos and read blogs to improve for upskilling or any career advice that you can find it's also available in their website you can also find work of course in linkedin as well as in indeed there are a lot of other job platforms you can find all of them in the free learning center that you can join just click the link in the caption down below now that you are familiar with the different agencies and job platforms that you can apply to, I have another tip that really works that is so much better than applying in an agency or sending your application in a job platform. Before I say that, just to give you an idea of why this is the best tip that I have for you, is because when I left the agency I was working for as an executive virtual assistant, I started looking for direct clients. I didn't want to be part of an agency because I wanted or I felt like I was ready to really be on my own, have my own small business as an executive virtual assistant, providing service to clients or to executives. So I decided that it's 
time that I look for a direct client. I submitted applications via the different job platforms that I mentioned like Upwork, Indeed, OLJ, LinkedIn. I think I submitted about 10 or 20 applications to different clients. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I received, I think, two responses from Upwork, nothing from OLJ, nothing from LinkedIn, nothing from Indeed, nothing from Job Street also. Probably because I didn't have any direct client experience, that's why I didn't get any response. Or probably because there were a lot of competition as well. So what happened is, despite that, I still, I think, had six interviews with the CEO or the executive. And that's not because of any of the job platforms that I sent my application to. It was because of my friends. It was because of the network that I've created over the years. I got all of the offers and the interviews because my friends referred me to their clients. I also had this one interview where my friend has been working for this client for I think less than a year and the client wasn't really hiring an executive virtual assistant but she mentioned that I am available and might be interested. He looked at my profile and my portfolio and he did give me an offer but unfortunately I had to turn down the offer because I had a better offer with another direct client which I also got from my network and that that's when I realized that it's so much easier to find a client if you already had that network, a friends, a set of friends that are also virtual assistants. Even if they're not your friends, even if they are your acquaintance, someone you met online, as long as it's someone that knows you, knows your expertise, knows what experience you had before, they can definitely back you up and tell their clients or their clients' clients that, hey, I have a friend who is available as a virtual assistant. I know they're good. They can give you the client that you are looking for. So it's very important to build your network. Same goes for me. And my friends. My client star is interested in hiring a social media manager, a graphic designer, a video editor. Instead of us looking to open a job post in OLJ or Upwork or Fiverr, they rely highly on referrals. So I referred my friends within my network. I even referred people I saw on TikTok. Somebody I've never talked to before but I do see their content on TikTok. I reached out to them and asked, hey, are you looking for a client? Are you available to onboard another client? And when they said yes, I referred them and they got the job. It's very important right now in this industry wherein competition is really high because you're not competing with just your fellow Filipinos. You're competing with people from Africa, people from South America, people who are local in the US, Australians, you're also competing with them. A lot of people are really wanting to be virtual assistants, wanting to be freelancers, wanting to be remote workers. So for you to stand out in the crowd, you need to have somebody to back you up. And for that someone to back you up, you need to build your network. Now you're going to ask me, how will you build your network if you're new in this industry? Easy. Go to TikTok. Look for virtual assistants who are, on, who are always on live. There are a lot of VAs who are always on live on TikTok. Go to their comment sections. Try to build rapport with them. Find VAs who have communities. Join the community. Join their Discord server. Join their live. You don't have to turn on your camera. Join their live. Build a network. Join free webinars where you can meet other people. Join trainings and boot camps where you can meet other virtual aspiring virtual assistants or existing virtual assistants. Try to find a mentor. I have connected with a lot of people who are trying to be virtual assistants and I provided them with clients or I referred them to clients who are looking for VAs. So right now in this industry where competition is really high, building a network is very important. 
Another way for you to understand how important network is, even our own clients, the executives that are hiring VAs, networking for them is very important. For the past few years, I've had, I think, connected with more than 20 clients. That's because I was an operations manager and I was handling a team of 15 VAs. I was also the point person for their clients. So I work with their clients as well. And all of these clients are consistently making sure that they maintain a good network. They keep in touch with this network because of these networks that they build, the friendship that they build, with the people within their network, will provide them with clients, will provide them with referrals for their business. So it's not just for virtual assistants. Even clients know the importance of making sure that you connect with other same-minded people because network referrals will really give you what you need, give you work, give you investors, give you donors. Having a good set of network is very important in this type of industry, especially at this rate where competition is really high. If you want to start building your network, join my Discord channel. The link will be in the caption down below. I'm always on my Discord channel. You can create your own Discord channel after that and build your own set of friends. Join lives. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of virtual assistants who are going on live sessions. Join Facebook groups or Facebook communities. Just join whatever community you can find out there and start building your own network. Since you're watching this, start with my community. Everything will be in the caption down below. Great news as well, I will be starting or I am planning to create a virtual networking activity soon. I'm just planning everything out properly before I launched it. I might launch it by the end of 2024, so watch out for that. Join my free learning center so that you will receive newsletters once I've already launched the virtual network working event. If you want to learn more how to become an executive virtual assistant, I do have an online course teaching you the basics on how to be an executive virtual assistant. It consists of 16 modules with at least 16 hours worth of videos. It's going to be updated soon because I've learned so much more. It's self-paced. You can take it anytime you want. You will also have lifetime access to this course. So whenever there are new updates, new modules that I will create, you will have access to that all the time. Once you join my free learning center as well, you will receive monthly newsletters with updates to new technology, updates to job openings. So what are you waiting for? Just click the link in the caption down below and join my free learning center as well as enroll in my online course. If you don't have a budget to enroll in my course, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can watch tutorials for free. I post new videos every week, so subscribe now. I hope you learned a lot in this video and I hope to see you in my community soon.